Hi right, guys, whenever you're ready to go. At 50 years of age, there is little left in football that Pep Guardiola is yet to achieve, but time and success show no sign of dulling our manager's desire to win. We spoke with the boss halfway through this strange Premier League season, with his side in the midst of a fine run of form. So good so far. So we had up and downs, but I think like all the clubs in all the competitions, in all. So it's. It's a strange moment for, for everyone, not just in the world football, just the team or the, as a human being, as much you adapt, you adjust the situations, I think will be better. After a difficult start that saw us drop as low as 15th, City have now won seven Premier League games on the bounce and are unbeaten in 18 across all competitions. Yeah, we had the feeling that we are getting better. We're more comfortable, we control more aspects than uh, some games in the beginning of the season. That uh, some players were not fit, some players uh, were injured and COVID and whatever, you have to adjust a little bit the qualities. But I think we're back a little bit last games, like we were, and uh, it's getting better. But you know, football change week, week by week, everything, so you cannot expect it's already done. So, always football is a uh, you know, little, little details that everything can work and everything can be destroyed. So just warning, be attention and continue what we feel is, is getting better. And, um, and I think don't be incredible disappointed when the results maybe is, are bad and are going well, because the situation, like we said before, it's, it's weird and it's going well in the same time. Be calm and, and think of another one. I think that is the best way to, to approach I think especially, especially this season. If City's resurgence can be explained by the performances of one player, then that man is John Stones. Stone. He has been in superb form this season and has been key to our fine defensive record. Well, first I would like to say is how personally happy the light and his back. So because the nice people deserve good things in life. So and uh, the people who you know, always do nice things for the other ones and the bad moment to stay calm and 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 he deserve it. So he struggled in the past. Uh, I think we spoke about that for the, of course, personal, a little bit problems that he had. And always when you have problems, personal problems, always sometimes you can give these problems on the pitch. And uh, and always struggle to to, to to be fit during month, no time, week by week and always play one or two games, injure one month, play one game, injure one month, and that is so difficult. And I think now he's settled perfectly in his life. Uh, of course, he understands what we wanna, were looking for because it's, since day one we were together. And I think they were a good chemistry with uh, with Ruben, so and on and off the pitch. Yeah, it's always tough, you know, when you're not playing and um, you don't get a run of games and you, you when you do, you've... You don't perform to what you can do because maybe you put too much pressure on yourself and um, keep fighting and keep believing in, in myself is, is something that um, first and foremost needs to happen. You need to be able to look yourself in the mirror and, and, and say, am I doing everything for, for myself and, and for the team? Immediately prior to signing Ruben Diaz, City conceded five goals in one match. But in the 25 games he has appeared in since then, City have conceded only 10. That's incredible statistic goes to show what a superb partnership Diaz and Stones have struck up. One lead and the other listen to be lead, the other one lead and the other one listen to be lead, and, and it's necessary when one central defender, oh, what are you talking about? I know what I have to do. That is more complicated. And uh, everyone except the role of the other one, they talk well, they communicate with the fullbacks, for the people up front. And that helps a lot, you know, to the results at the end of this. So football is, so it's just how to settle. And especially when you are open-minded, you're generous and you can, you know, everyone talk to you for your best way, for the best for you, for the best for the team. At the end, the situation works. After praising the defenders, the manager now turns his attention to the forward line, who in the Guardiola system have their own defensive duties too. 
I think uh, the individual individual quality of our defenders avoiding mistakes that like we make a lot last season. They punish us. They 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 create a lot of problems. In the city season, we are because the commitment and everyone to run backwards and make an effort. Our strikers, the people up front, is incredible. So that's why it helps us a lot to the back four. But at the same time, the people, especially the last eight nine games, like John and Stones and and uh, and Ruben, there they help us a lot to don't make a. Uh, uh, you mistake is part of the you know of the game, of course. But not the silly ones <laughs> or the, the the mistakes like oh my god what is this so and we don't do it we don't make clear clear mistakes and that help us to be to be stable. Another new addition to the defensive line for the season has been USA national goalkeeper Zach Steffen. The 25-year-old joined last season before going straight out on loan to Germany and has already made eight appearances with the City First team this season. Wow, what do I say? We are more than happy. I trust a lot my, with Xavi, our, our, our trainer goalkeeper. And uh, he spoke about Zach two or three seasons, three or three years ago. So this guy will be top, have the conditions and away. I said, OK, if you believe it. And uh, yeah, he went in Germany last season and came here. And from the day one, for the day one, uh, that well is beloved in the locker room. We are incredible the lab, we cannot deny it. So last week's playing incredible two tough games in Stamford Bridge and Ultra for away. And his response was magnificent. So uh, yeah, hopefully what we want is Hopefully he's happy here, hopefully he's enjoying, uh, he's growing and uh, he's a young, young keeper and uh, yeah, uh, happy, happy to have him. <laughs>